Thank you, Felicia, for the kind introduction. Uh, Ms. Larry Pepper, Mr. Eric Sonham, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I hope you had a good lunch. Our presence at Textile Exchange comes as a fashion industry reaches a crossroad. Fashion is one of our most basic necessities and among our most popular pastimes, especially for my wife. But it is also a big contributor to waste pollution. How clothing is manufactured and consumed is taking a toll on supply chains, on workers in emerging markets, on the brands and producers of the pieces we know and love and most importantly, on the environment. The ultimate goal should be for the fashion industry to operate within a circular economy. This means a total eradication of waste and pollution and maximizing the utility of present resources. Initiatives and dialogues around increasing the use of renewed resources in textile manufacturing particularly from fashion houses and companies, are on the rise. But it is incumbent upon the critical players within the value chain to take steps that complement this momentum so that meaningful action and change are truly possible. For that reason, we are pushing ourselves to innovate and contribute in ways that both benefit our business and drive progress against the broader aims of the industry. Today, RGE is proud to announce a commitment of US $200 million over the next 10 years towards next generation, next generation textile fiber innovation and technology. Our investment will focus on solutions deployable at industrial scale in two areas. Number one, alternative cellulose feedstock, and number two, closed loop manufacturing. We plan to allocate 70% of the $200 million into scaling up proven clean technology in fibre manufacturing, 20% in bringing pilot scale production to commercial scale, and the remaining 10% towards research and development in emerging frontier solutions. The pursuit of these technologically advanced sustainable textile fibre solutions for commercial production will play a key role in our strategic business direction moving forward. It reflects the sustainability DNA of RGE and our strong belief that plant-based fibres like viscous have tremendous potential to meet global textile demand and consumer needs in an environmentally sustainable way. RGE group of companies in China, Indonesia and Brazil occupy a sizable and unique upstream position in the textile industry. Our businesses are fully integrated from renewal plantation management to production of dissolving pulp, viscose fibre and yarn. Collectively, our companies, Sattery and Asia Pacific Rayon, are the world's largest viscose producer today. Our companies enjoy the strategic advantage of operating in Asia which is both a major textile manufacturing hub as, as well as importer of textile waste. This presents a big opportunity to localize supply of alternative cellulosic feedstock like recycled cotton within proximity of the manufacturing facilities, bringing about operational efficiency as well as cost competitiveness. As an integrated upstream value chain player, we are also able to harness the advantage of scale, product quality assurance, supply stability and traceability. Most importantly, our businesses can pool knowledge and embark on practical collaboration to jointly pursue technology-based innovation for the industry. But we know we cannot do this on our own. Our commitment includes comprehensive cooperation with innovators, startups and key industry players to promote real progress towards the circularity that the global textile and fashion industries need. Earlier this year, we signed an MOU, a Memorandum of Understanding, with Sweden's 
renew cell for technical cooperation and trials on production of viscose using recycled cotton with the aim of industrial scale production by 2025. We also invested as a strategic partner in Finland's Infinite Fiber Company, or IFC, to scale up its technology, which turns textile waste and other pulp-based materials into new textile fiber. Other investors in the company include H&M Group, Verala, and Potum. In the meantime, our in-house R&D teams have continued their research into alternative feedstock, such as agricultural waste and recycled cotton, as well as closed-loop manufacturing for viscose production. Off the back of these efforts, RG has commenced partnership discussion with Fashion for Good. This will include active participation in their innovative platform, which is focused on spark sparking and scaling technologies and business models that have the greatest potential to transform the fashion industry, very much in line with the R&D commitment we are announcing here today. Ultimately, we hope our investment will breach the challenge of enabling next-generation textile fibre solutions to find commercial viability through scale, affordability and quality. Scale is key. We have ever-growing number of very promising pilots with the potential to make a lasting impact. But it is criti critical that we take the next step. Doing so requires real determination among all stakeholders that translates from promising idea into a significant commitment of resources. For transformative impact, we need to move urgently from niche to mass. We hope to strengthen and deepen our collaboration with current and future partners as we pursue mutual goals. This does not come without challenges, but through strategic cooperation that addresses long-term obstacles and engages and involves every stakeholders, be they manufacturer, brands, consumer or civil society groups like Canopy, we can make a lasting positive difference. We are excited by what the future holds. RG and our business groups are guided by our five C's business philosophy. That whatever we do, it must be good for the community, good for the country, good for the climate, good for the customer. Then you'll be good for the company. We hope our investment commitment will especially benefit the climate and our customers. We look forward to updating you on the progress of our efforts including reporting annually the investments we make. Thank you.